Martin Day at 5'10 with a 73 inch reach steps in to replace Julio Ars and is taking on Tamor Valiev at 5'6 with a 67 inch reach. Now both of these fighters normally fight at 135 pounds. This fight is taking place at 145 pounds in the featherweight division. But bear in mind, Tamor Valiev has fought his debut at a catchweight of 140 pounds. We'll talk about that fight against Trevin Jones later in the video, but let's start off with Martin Day. Losing all three of his UFC fights since he's debuted in 2018, Martin Day has shown some good stuff in the cage despite these losses. So let's not look at his record and think he's a terrible fighter because he has shown some decent things. With a taekwondo background, he's shown a dangerous and diverse kicking game. Good control of distance typically is what we see from taekwondo practitioners and decent hands as well. Um, once the fight hits the floor, he's got all right control on the floor uh, defensively and he's able to get the fight back up to his feet and he's got two submissions on his record so given the opponent is of a certain ability he's able to get off on some offensive submissions there. Martin Day's weaknesses are clear looking at his last three fights in the UFC. Despite him being a striker using that taekwondo background his defense is a bit leaky like we saw in the Davy Grant fight. He had a technical flaw where he threw his left hook with his chin up in the air and his hand away from his face and his body and he got caught with a counter. Although he's able to whip in his kicks and he's decent offensively, he is open to counter shots, big overhand rights and left hooks. He is susceptible to getting taken down as well, which is another one of his weaknesses. And his biggest weakness, in my opinion, is his pace and his output as a fighter. Considering striking is his bread and butter and that's what he's, that's what he's comfortable doing. And that's where his only... Uh, threat lies as a fighter he really needs to start putting the pace on his opponent he sort of he doesn't really I haven't really seen him get too aggressive or vicious he sort of stays in in, in, a, in one gear he doesn't really up the gears on his opponents and that's that's always going to be one of his downfalls but seeing him out fight at 145 maybe that plays into his energy levels here it might benefit him he doesn't need to cut as much we'll see Tamor Valiev is a training partner of Frankie Edgar and resembles his style a little bit inside the cage in terms of his footwork and movement. Tamor Valiev is constantly moving, he's a very busy fighter, engages in high activity, he's always fainting no matter what range he's at, he's fainting to set up his strikes. Um, and then he follows up with combination punch and he's got an, a decent explosive kicking game with an array of kicks, question mark kicks, head kicks, side kicks to the leg. Um, so he's a, quite a decent striker and he's, and he's shown the ability as well to hold his opponent down and gain some ground control time and land a few strikes from these positions. Not often, but he's shown it a few times in his prior fights before he's reached the UFC. And we've seen this explosive striking style work well for him. The first round of the Trevor Jones fight, he hurt Jones quite badly, almost had him out of there. And this is where his downfall is when it's spending all that energy into that first round. Round. He's a little bit uneconomical. He, he he faints sometimes for no reason and he doesn't follow up on certain things and then he comes short with some of his strikes. By the second round, because he's so intense by the first round, he starts to blow a little bit and although it doesn't affect his output and his and his offense so much, it makes him look a bit wobbly and he looks susceptible to getting hurt and we saw that in the Trevin Jones fight. That makes me wonder, you know, if Martin Day is able to come into this fight energetic, revitalize and sharp if he brings Timur Valiev into that second round and Timur Valiev starts gassing, as the taller, rangier striker with those Taekwondo kicks, he may land something on Timur Valiev here. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. I think Timur Valiev is going to win this fight. I'm leaning more towards him. Absolute workhorse, making making use of every second and every inch of the cage. Uh, much more of a quality fighter than Martin Day. A better striker and a much better grappler when it comes down to it. Timur Valiev comes away with a victory or maybe even stops Martin Day here. That's my prediction for the fight. Thank you for joining me. Subscribe, like, and we'll be back with another video.